A gang member, Zanga, is being tortured by two others. They have him tied and are giving him a beating. His face is bloodied. The man beating him asks him where the stash is, but he refuses to say. The man tells him that he better confesses before the Slum King arrives. Zanga says that the Slum King ought to be dead already and no one can challenge him, not even Maje. He says he will kill Maje if Maje dares challenge him. The man tells him that even the devil cannot kill Maje. At that point, another young man enters. He walks to the man being tortured with a menacing demeanor. As he gets there, he turns and starts talking to another man in the hall. The man's chest is riddled with bullet wounds. He calls the man dad and the man calls him Edafe. The others can't say his dad and we realize that he's talking to a ghost in his head. His ghost dad tries to convince him not to go ahead with violence, but he insists that he'll keep at it until he gets answers for what happened to his family. He then grabs a hammer and starts bludgeoning Zanga with it. Welcome to the channel everyone, this is the episode 1 of the African Magic series, The Slum King. Don't forget to like and subscribe as you can enjoy. We meet a young Gaddafi playing football with his school shoot hard Kate. Kate is going away to UK and gives him a friendship bracelet, then leaves. Gaddafi's mom comes to call him to come and convey cake as it is his birthday that day. Inside, as a celebrated birthday, some gunmen badge into their house. They ask for money, and as the first family doesn't provide it, they shoot everybody. And the first father tries to fight one of them, but they knock him down and shoot him too. Finally, they shoot Edafe as well. Three months later, Edafe has survived the gunshot and is now living with his only living family member, his grandmother, who is a nurse. Edafe is still shaken by everything that happened. He has frequent bouts of disturbances and nightmares about it, and his grandma tries to comfort him as much as she can. On his way back from an errand for his grandmother, Edafe rolls into a young girl who is a pickpocket. Edafe chases her into an abandoned building and brings her down. He raises his stone to hit her, but his father's ghost starts talking to him and tells him not to do it. He says the girl is a thief and deserves to be killed, but his father's ghost counters. He lets the girl go and some gunmen start coming out from a part of the building. They are members of the local gang, Ally Bill. The girl and her accomplice run off. The gunmen come out and surround Edafe. They tell him to get down on his knees and he does that. Their leader, Imole, also known as the Slum King, comes out and addresses them. They are just coming back from a successful robbery where one of their members was shot in the hand. Their plan is to take half of the dollars they stole for themselves and spread the rest to the people at the upcoming carnival. When it's done, he questions Edafe on who he is, but Edafe is silent. One of the gang members recognizes him as Antinosis' grandson. Later, they take a young Zanga, who is the member that was shot, to Antinosis' place to treat. Antinos tries to convince Imola the gang leader to stop taking the boys for robbery, but Imola tells her that what they are doing is for the people. As they are there, a young lady, Selense, a modest love interest, arrives for treatment as well. Imola tells Antinos to take good care of her and then leaves. Shortly after, another woman is brought in for treatment by the pickpocket girl and others. The woman is their mother. She claims to have fallen in the bathroom, but Selense reveals that the woman was beaten up by her husband, who goes around preaching but is not really a good person. We also find out that Selense is having an affair with one of the gang members. The next day, on the way to school, the pickpocket Yaga is here, her brother Friday and her friend Kaima try to befriend Edafe. Edafe refuses at first because they are thieves and he doesn't want to be first with thieves. They explain to him that they are not thieves. As they talk, Edafe has another bout of talking to his ghost dad. Two other boys from the school, Banjo and Dari, accost them and they get into a fight with Edafe. At home, Edafe's grandma asks him to go for a football tryout that can give him a UK scholarship. Adafe goes for the tryout. When he gets home, he finds Yagazi and the others in his house and his grandma brings drinks for them. The two boys that fought with him, Banjo and Dari, also come to apologize. Dari calls him Maji and he doesn't like it. Banjo explains that Maji is just like saying, don't hit me. Banjo tells them that once he gets the girl he wants at the upcoming Valentine's Day, his next dream will be to join the Ally Bim. He is hoping to become the king of the slum one day. Edafe says he can't be friends with anyone that wants to join a gang of robbers. Yagazi begins to like Edafe. Coming back from school one day, they find their father, the preacher, beating their mother again. They are angry but can't do anything about it. 
On Valentine's Day, Banjo asks Yadazi to be his girlfriend, but she refuses. She in turn asks Hedafe to be her boyfriend, and he tells her that she's like a sister to him and leaves. Aima also proposes a relationship to Friday, but Friday says he's not in the mood for that. Banjo then meets Kaima and they told them decide to become each other's dates. Yadazi and Friday get home and find their father beating their mother again. Friday tries to defend their mother and their father starts trundling him. Yadazi grabs his pistol and beats their father on the head. The man collapses and goes lifeless. That's the end of the first episode guys, stay tuned for the next episodes, don't forget to like and subscribe.